Bob Fishman. I am the technical director here at the Old Town School of Folk Music. What can bands do to make my job easier? Well, for starters, when I, when I advance the show, that they provide the engineer with a detailed stage plot, a detailed input list, uh, how many monitor mixes they want, where they would like the wedges to be on stage. If the engineer has all that information, it allows him or her to come in, say, two or three hours before and really set the stage up exactly as it should be. That way, when the uh, band arrives, everything, the stage is ready to go. It makes the sound, sound check go very quick and very smooth. Now, what else can help a sound engineer is during the sound check, if the band you know, talks the language of the sound engineer. Even more importantly than talking the language, though, is someone, one, whoever you're working with at that particular moment, if they know exactly what they want. When the artist knows exactly what they want, it just makes everything so easy for the sound engineer. Tonight's show, as I already spoke about, was uh, this traditional bluegrass band, and we're going to be using the single large diaphragm microphone now, typically in that setup, one never uses monitors. The band never asks for the monitors, and the engineer really appreciates that because of the overly sensitive condenser microphone. It is very, very tricky to get sound to come back through monitors without uh, strange harmonics or feedback or edginess. Um, the Wilders, I've done sound for them about four or five times, and that's been their setup all uh, throughout. But today, I just had a look at the, uh, their rider and their stage plot, and they are doing the same single large diaphragm mic setup, but they've incorporated now four monitors into their setup. So I imagine tonight is gonna be a, a challenge. I'll have to take extra care today to really get the monitors sounding right so that they will not affect the sound from the mains.